Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to What the Duck. This is episode number 25 here in the wake of patch 7.02. We're back with another very exciting episode here. Slacks Purge, Suns fan, and Mr. Trent Pax with us once again. Slacks, what's the good word this evening, my fair friend? Not a not. I'm just ready to talk some Dota action with you guys. I don't really know what we're going to talk about. Nothing really has been going on, unless you're into DAC. Don't Nothing certainly all, not. No, slacks. So, no. <laughs> Nothing for me. Come no. on, guys. These are like the hypest qualifiers ever. That's all you got? These qualifiers what? are so good. They have GSL into a double elimination bracket. This is like real qualifiers where the team actually deserves to go. That's true. Which is great. That's right, Slacks. Yeah. How much of it have what? you watched, Trent? It sounds like you're pretty up to speed. Uh, I think I've watched like all of it. Except for I didn't watch all of the Europe because I was casting CIS, so I couldn't watch a lot of Europe. But then I'd go back and watch the replays later. And Fair. I've watched like half of NA. Man, you are a hard-working uh, caster, Trent. Man, gotta watch those games. Gotta, gotta... Fuck you. Yeah. You should take after me up. in Slacks and just not watch any games. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> this dumbass, all he does is watch games his entire life. Fucking, I don't know how you do it, Sunspan. Don't that, you no, watch your Trent team watches, all the time? Yeah, Slacks I watch my team. That's pretty, like this. Exclusive. It depends on like what projects I'm doing, but yeah. I think Slacks meant the this... good games. So what? that's that's the where you guys kind of yeah exactly. So like. Black average is like one Good zing, Trent. Well done. One thank series you, you. a LAN. Or is it one game a LAN? <laughs> one game a LAN. One game. Okay, well you started mistake. cheating though, Slacks. I, I think yeah, the last couple cheater. you've been watching more than more than one. I, I saw you watch more than one game at Northern Arena. Well, I was forced to <laughs> <laughs> I tried to play Gears of War, you guys literally came out and told me to stop <laughs> and to pay attention. That's actually true. Okay. We needed bodies, dude. Yeah. I think I watch more Hearthstone than I do Dota, guys. You oh. still watch Hearthstone? That's disgusting. <laughs> it's more of a casual fixation, you know. Oh, Jesus. Like I when guess. I when I'm, I get something to eat. And I want to sit at my computer. I don't want something too long that I can have to be invested in. I just watch a quick Hearthstone game. No <laughs> big deal. No, but it's funny to me because you don't play Hearthstone at all. And you oh, haven't I haven't played for I, like three expansions. That you game. admit that it's a shit game, but you still are like, there's something exciting about watching people get fucked by RNG. But that's yeah, it, right? I like that's... watching other people get fucked and not myself. Yeah. <laughs> you see? That's fair. That's well, there you go. That's good. So I've, Hearthstone I've been told in the past, future. not that this is related, but I've, uh, <laughs> I've realized I'm really bad at multitasking. So right now I am obviously doing What the Duck. I am... Watching my team scrim right now, reading Twitch and chat. I'm listening to ASMR. That's three things. Wow! wow. Holy! Somebody shit. is blowing in my ear right now, guys. <laughs> it's uh, it's Lex. Great. He recorded that. Slacks last record. Night. <laughs> <laughs> His are very disturbing. Let me tell you. I like to think about like what the, my life would be in like an apocalyptic scenario, and I like to plan it out where like it wouldn't be that bad. You, Suns fan. Yes. What are you gonna do when there's no internet and are you just going to become a raider and kidnap people so oh, no, they whisper I, to you, or what? Well, is there is there electricity? No. I'm talking about an apocalyptic scenario. I think you'd I'd ride into towns and kidnap people and then make them whisper to you <laughs> all day. It'd be like yeah. the weirdest fucking okay. medieval king Not ever. Not to go off on any tangent, but I no. do believe Not on what that the duck. in the future... <laughs> mm -hmm. I've wondered why they haven't done this yet. Maybe they have. I just don't know about it. Like, you go to get a massage, right? Mm -hmm. There needs yeah. to be an ASMR. What like, the fuck? There needs to be ASMR option as well. So you get a massage and somebody. <laughs> they don't have to whisper in your ear per se. You could just have like headphones on. And you just listen to ASMR. Yeah. I but thought you were into watching two... other people get fucked. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Wait, what? No. Uh, massage parlor. I can't. I these jokes go over my head. Yeah. From he's he's got way too many tasks ASMR. going on to add humor <laughs> to the list. Okay? No, this is good. This is good. I need <laughs> to practice. Keep it light. I'm really bad at multitasking, so we're gonna we're gonna get better at this. Someone just make some fart noises, and he'll this probably. This explains a lot, though, yes. Shannon. Because I always thought that one of the like highest qualities of a good caster is the ability to multitask. Often you have to do camera work and talk at the same time, but that explains I mean, why you miss so many kills while doing camera work. Because first of all, wow. that's not a thing. When I, in my heyday, I was quite a good cameraman. I don't <laughs> consider heyday. casting multitasking though. Really, that's just one thing. If me. you're doing obs, it's definitely like if you're cindering, you're casting, and while you're casting, you're looking at Twitch chat. That is multitasking, mm -hmm. and I can't do that. You can't read Twitch and cast at the same time. No, I because I get tilted more than anything. Oh, here they like If I miss a kill or something, he's sensitive. I'm not looking at Twitch chat. It's I make sure it's minimized. Okay. In fact. Mm -hmm. But cindering, he just he says a Gains joke it. and then he looks at Twitch chat. He's like, Yes. Oh, yeah. 
wait for the laughter, the delay will catch up. <laughs> I know a few people have done that. Less than four, probably, but. Well, that's the only way to get feedback on your jokes. How else is he going to know well, if no, it but was that's, a okay. No, I, I, in concept, or in theory, I kind of understand it, but he does it on, like, TI stage level stuff. <laughs> you know, like, ridiculously <laughs> high level. I'm like, dude. He can, like, hear the crowd laughing, but he has to go check the <laughs> Twitch chat. Yeah, he needs Twitch chat. I don't care about these first. people. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck real people. It's all about Twitch chat. Mm. Well, can we make this episode less shit? Is that okay. possible? Oh, go ahead. Somewhere else. All right, Purge. Uh, how about you tell us topic. about your recent accomplishments? Yeah, Mr. That's a great segue. Right here. Now that now that you're like a real A-list right. celebrity, and we're all a bunch of Damn. plebeians over here. I want everybody to call me an actor now. <laughs> are you a member of the Actors Guild? Do you, are you an IMDb? Uh, I think I needed two more appearances. I do have an IMDb. Somebody linked it to my Twitch oh, chat today. Nice. I'm I was on out. camera for approximately three seconds. Great job. <laughs> That's a lie. Lines. Three seconds? And no. Yeah. Did you watch the episode? I, I did. Well, no, no. That, I saw the highlights. they kept. But you you technically recorded more, right? Or something like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So I'll just give you guys the breakdown. So I was at Boston. And it was a couple of days before the group stage started. I went there a little early. And I was on this computer. And I was kind of just like sitting there all day. And I got this email from this lady who was like, hey, we're looking for somebody for an acting gig for like a TV show about esports. Like an episode about esports. So I... It's like, okay, I, I wanted to see what it was like. They sent me the script. I read the script. Um, and uh, ultimately, they weren't sure when they were going to shoot yet. It was probably going to be like late December, but maybe early, mid-December, which is when Boston was. So I wasn't sure if I could make it or not, because obviously the event's more important. But it ended up being right after the event, like five days after. So I was able to go. Um, and I read through the script, and I was like, there's there's some like gaming cliche stuff. It, it was like whoever wrote it obviously knew gaming, but maybe they didn't. Yeah. Like there's a difference between like playing games and knowing what like a pro gamer is going to be like sometimes. Or you'll get stuff like, oh, he's supposed to be a nerd. Let's make, let's give him like the, the craziest gaming setup ever. It's like in, uh, what's that, Grandma's Boy? Have you guys ever seen that movie? I'm sure Shannon yeah. you have. Of course. Like you know, in that movie, the, movie. the 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 main guy, he's in this like chair that's like a giant lean back thing, and the monitors are like on the screen, like above his. You know, there's like yeah. obviously Very that movie satirical, satirical type but thing. yeah, it's yeah. like stereotypes. You're, you're like, oh, well, surely the best gamer in the world is gonna have like this crazy stuff. So there's like a bunch of there's a handful of stuff like that, and I very politely offered to. Um, give my advice for small things there was like seven things in the in the list that needed to be adjusted and uh, the writer, we, the we know how that advice goes me. no because i was like i don't know if this is polite or not but like there's some things in here that are like red flags where it's like <laughs> you know it's going to seem like people are really being gimmicky sometimes so uh the writer got back to me and he was willing to listen to what i said and he, he said that he liked some ideas some of them couldn't be fixed because it was like typical like shooting problems like oh if you're in the if you're in the court scene you can't give them all desktop computers to play the game so we'll just pretend they can play it on tablets or something you know like it it could be stuff like that that they just genuinely can't fix based on the shots um but they were they were super accommodating about it anyways it was uh it was after boston i flew out to new york for a couple days wasn't was that right travel brutal though because you you had to fly home from the east coast and then you flew back to the east coast like yeah. two two or three days later that's patch yeah. notes in between wasn't yeah. it? i flew back <laughs> did the patch notes i think and then yeah. flew to New York. It was something like that. Or maybe it was like I was in New York, yeah. then flew back, did the patch notes. I can't remember. It was something like crazy like that. Um, but the, the event itself was uh, was pretty cool. I, I like walked to the arena. It's where the U.S. Open is in New York. It's this, it was this big esports arena. And the cold the, the coldest the temperature was that day was, neg- it was 15 Fahrenheit, which is negative 9 Celsius for any EU viewers. Um, and they didn't heat the arena because uh, it costs money to heat the arena. It costs a lot. <laughs> um, so they just didn't heat the arena, and it was filled with a bunch of extras. But anyways, I, I walk up, and I finally find the entrance to this freaking building. I walk all the way around, and I like don't really know where to go. Whenever you go to eSport events, you kind of just like walk in a door, and eventually you find it, right? And I was doing that, and I found this like little table of food, so I start eating some food. And then I like pull out my phone and text my handler, and they're like, uh, y- you can go to your trailer. And I was like, I have a fucking trailer? <laughs> <laughs> I walked right past all the trailers. I was like, I'm, I have like a, I'm a very small part, right? And I walk over to the trailer, and it's like this big, like, long bus. And it has these, like, cross sections, like little jail cell trailers, basically. There's, like, <laughs> nice trailers for, like, the main actors. But we had this, like, little cross section thing. So it was, like, you get in and it's, like, I don't know, uh, five feet wide but pretty long. It was, like, I don't know, 12 feet long. And you have your, like, little, like, mirror and, like, table and fold out stuff. And we did paperwork. And I put on my outfit. And then we kind of waited around for a while. And then we went for dinner. And then I met Morgan there, Morgan Webb. Uh, she used to be on TV when I was probably in high school or college or something. She was on G4, I believe, with Adam... Sessler, is that was, his it, name? was it Attack yeah. of the yep. Show? Is that it? I she was on a bunch of that G4 so, stuff. But uh, she was really nice. Uh, we just talked about gaming a lot. Uh, most of the other people there were just like actors and 
theater majors and stuff like that. Um, so we just kind of hung out for the day and then we finally did our shots around like 9 p.m. or something after like sitting around watching TV and stuff. Um, it was really cold because we couldn't wear our coats in there because obviously then you're wearing a coat and it looks weird. But it was literally like 15 degrees Fahrenheit and we're wearing like a suit. And we had this like uh, thermal underwear on that actually like saved my life pretty much. But it, it was intense. Like we got when, when we got a, the invite to the event, it's very different from like um an esport event you get invited to an esport event you like roll in and then they like you get in a car and it takes you somewhere and then they're kind of like hey check your emails and you're like okay and i'll be in my room but this time we got these like pdfs that were like hey this is what chemicals are in the fog machines and this is what you're going to be exposed to on stage and it was like this is what this, this is how to deal and recognize that you might be getting hypothermia and how to treat like they take care of you they're like really trying to make sure that you don't get cancer from some because you know that's what used to happen in movies probably like 50 years ago or 80 Damn, years ago dude. this is all super organized so um I, at first i laughed i was like hypothermia come on that's gonna be fine right it was really cold it was really cold <laughs> <laughs> and Morgan had it even worse because she was wearing a dress, so and she's less body mass, obviously, so she got cold even faster than I did. So we'd like do a shot, and then the handlers would run over and give us our coats, and we could like cover our bodies with coats for like thirty seconds. It was actually that cold, honestly. It was insane. So Jesus. we did all the shots, wow. and it was like super pressure because I didn't spend a lot of time memorizing my lines, almost none. So I basically <laughs> had my phone in my lap, and I would like pull it up and be like, "Oh, here's my line." Um, and, and the scary part is like everybody's waiting for you right like if you fuck it up you have to do it again and there's like 50 extras behind me and morgan's to my left and there's like four different camera guys with different cameras just like laying in bleachers cameraing at us god that shit was stressful man yeah wow but then it was over and uh that was like it was probably over on like 11 p.m and then we took the subway back i stayed at a at a friend's apartment and i flew in the day like a day or two before because i had to do a fitting first and then uh left the day after so and then I did uh, ADR, which is like voice recording in Los Angeles, luckily, which means like um, I probably mumbled too much because my face was frozen, and <laughs> so I just did extra voice lines in a little studio, and pretty much all the audio in the episode was actually from the ADR, and they used <laughs> very little visual stuff for me because I probably did such a bad job acting because I was stressed <laughs> and terrible at acting, so I was barely ever on camera. So. so they use the voice of a recording on top of the visual. They do that, that right? all the time in TV and movies. Yeah. There's a lot of you. Go, you ever watch like a movie where somebody says a line but it sounds weird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's it's probably ADR. It's like the way the the mics they recorded it with is different. The and therefore you you can hear the change. And sometimes it's not even the same person. It could just be like, oh, we'll just add like a farting sound effect when some guy falls on the ground. You know, they'll do stuff like that. Just like add sounds after Those the, are fact the best. That's what makes movies make, funny. To make it better. So <laughs> and, and in this case, maybe the audio is bad. Maybe I delivered it awful, and they're like, hey, it's 11 p.m. We just want to go home. This guy's really shit at delivering <laughs> lines. We'll just get him into the studio in like a month. That's probably what happened. Oh, this fucking nerd. <laughs> Damn. It was a good experience. It was yeah, uh, definitely interesting. What an experience indeed. That's crazy. That's, that's what we get to look forward to. Maybe a slice of that in the esports world. So these are the chemicals coming out of the fog machine on the stage in China. That'll be the day. So would you do it again? Yeah. What you what I do it again? Um, yeah. Yeah, especially if it was local. I won't want to like travel for a day. The the pay per day was actually better than esports lands, believe it or not. Mm. Uh, just for the guest star and the amount of time I actually worked was Who very low. I'm, I basically sat around all day um, until we actually did the the recording. But the amount of time I was doing clips is probably for sure less than two hours. Mm. That wow! I was actually on stage ready to do clips, but I got there like two p.m. or something. But you know, I got paid more for a day rate than uh, doing like twelve hours, twelve hour days of casting. So that was pretty nice. Oh, shocking! But, but obviously, yeah. the, money, the level yeah. of money is is completely different. Like the amount of money they had in the whole thing was just incredible. It's like giant room that was just shelves of like props of like different kinds of lamps and shit. Wow! And then they had this other giant room that was just clothing. And then they had this other huge room. It was like a it was like a gym, and it was just filled with sets, which was like little like plywood houses that had sets on the inside that they would do. Like it was insane how much money there was. So obviously esports can't compare, but like. So know. when you said there were like fifty extras behind you, how much does each extra get paid for something like I that? Have, I have no they're idea. They're not volunteers, right? They get something, even if it's fifty bucks a person. Uh, like that I don't remember who up. told me how it works, but maybe it was Nikki or somebody else. But they basically all apply to be extras, and then when the directors or somebody is going through the the list, they just have this giant stack of photos, and they'll be like, yes, no, no, yes, yes. They'll oh, just wow. like pick people that they think fit the demographics for what they want. So if it's like. An esport tournament, they're probably picking all young people and just like a mix of girls and guys. Okay. Even though, let's be real, there's like less than ten percent <laughs> in Dota community at least. So Nikki says a hundred dollars a day to be an extra for something like that. So, okay. Wow, that's. Oh. 
Yeah, <laughs> and they they separated them from us too. They ate in a different area than us. They they were like moving them around with like uh, uh with the, the, the the like things that you make you talk louder. They were moving them around. Yeah, it was so <laughs> funny too. Like for lemmings. some of the shots, they were like, "All right, everybody, look excited!" And they had all these like those thunderclapper things. Uh, and at some point they said miming so they, they all had to pretend to be making a lot of noise but not making it it was just so funny you could hear their arms moving and stuff because they're all wearing like winter coats and like it was just very interesting obviously seeing the professional side of acting yeah um whereas you know esports is like still kind of it's still show business but it's not quite the same and it's obviously still baby stage did you have so. to sign an nda or anything to not give away the plot of the story for that episode or anything i like that? don't frankly remember i did not read all of the paperwork very, very so what happened to the episode what's the twist purge yeah don't told... spoil no spoils it's I good. actually I don't, I don't know if they changed it like they they, I they hope did they script did updates it. all the time i really they, hope they did they, they did yeah they did like three script updates i think even past day when i gave them my uh my advice that was like during boston or something so um script changed a couple times things things changed my lines when i got to the event were a little different my lines that I saw on TV were completely different. Uh, I was hoping uh, that, that there was this one line. It was like trying to describe how good the player was. Uh, Morgan's line was like, uh, do you think he can be stopped or something? And my line was, well, considering Jace is the LeBron James of esports, no chance for him. <laughs> that was my line. And I'm like, this is a little this is a little extreme. No cast would ever say like, there's no way he can possibly. It's impossible. No one would ever say that, you know. It was like reality things like that that I had to like bring to the table sometimes. Uh, but they were they were super nice about it. Uh, honestly, every person that I met was really nice. The the main actor I met him, I met his love interest in the show. She was uh, actually I found ah. this out the other day when I was poking through IMDb. She was. Have you guys seen Daredevil? Yeah, yeah. So On you Netflix? know the lawyer that was dating Daredevil's friend. She was blonde. Daredevil has and a friend. It's the the guy that's not very attractive with long hair. <laughs> Daredevil. <He's chubby. laughs> uh, Daredevil's. It was oh, like his lawyer yeah, yeah. partner that, in the law firm, right? Yeah, he, had, he had a oh, he had like blonde? an ex girlfriend. Yeah, oh, that, that, yeah, that girl. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know until I looked at the IMDb. Anyways, that's her. Um, uh, so the main guy was super, super nice. Uh, I met her a little bit, and the the Jace's manager guy that accused him of three two twoing, and then like all of the esports players as well were generally in the same generally in the same area. So um, yeah, everybody was really nice. The director, like nobody, was in any way arrogant. Which I thought might be the case. I, I didn't know what to expect. But everybody was extremely nice, extremely professional. Really good experience, Seems and they like were a... really accommodating about ADR lines too. If I thought the lines were unrealistic, they were always willing to hear what I had to say, which I really appreciated. So seems like quite plus. the interesting plot. Best team in the world loses a match. The only way you'd lose that is if you were trying to lose. <laughs> Whoa! That, yeah. was, that was the plot. Watch that out! It's pretty funny. And the day after, <laughs> the day after that, he threw the match. His manager did a press conference, and he was like, "Jace threw that match for money." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Sick PR. I was like, "This wouldn't ever happen." But hypothetically, there could be a manager that was that deluded that he would actually say, you know? "Suns fan." One day. Yes. <laughs> Someday that will be me. We throw that match for money. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. That's it. That's all press conference. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. all right I, well, I haven't watched the whole episode yet but yeah very exciting yeah. i'm jealous purge that's that's pretty cool that's uh that's a cool gig i just hope god please still have the same ending please have the same ending oh my god sex well, i wasn't supposed to let you read the script dude that was well, i broke the rules i don't read okay. the form through emails like don't send anything. this to anyone don't let anyone <laughs> read this i'm like hey sex check out this ending <laughs> let me just it was a good time. Boston, like crying laughing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please keep it. All right. Anyway. Uh, so what else we got, boys? Well, um, we've got this patch here, seven point zero two, oh! basically the, the the talent tree patch. Yes, very exciting. Yeah, seriously. Ah! So is this how patches are going to be from now on? Are they just going to be little talent tree adjustments, and then I that's so. it? Yeah. You think actually way to changing do it. the heroes? That's over. Okay. I think so a you lot know... of those were placeholder talents. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I fully yeah. agree. Like the talent trees, the benefit of talent trees is it gives you options and builds. Like every freaking support hero has a plus like 50 damage talent somewhere in their build. So now hypothetically, you could play that hero in the mid lane and maybe make it work. So if mm -hmm. you just keep buffing that, it doesn't make the hero as it currently exists any better. It just allows more playstyles, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I was just I mean, so yeah. happy how many like 15 movement speed talents got removed. Yeah, those, those were, were awful. all so yeah. bad. Like I... level 20, 15 movement speed. 
Like, <laughs> never. I can't Great think for of... supports positioning. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen really move speed, or yeah. not, or not. I mean, I guess the other or big not. change to this patch, aside from talent trees, uh, the shrines. Now instead of all tier twos being killed, which is all the outer towers, it's just one tier three tower being killed, and then shrines are vulnerable. So you could theoretically push one lane to the tier three, tier ones are up in the other lanes, but you're killing shrines. So it's kind of I actually a cool really concept. like that. I think it's super cool because like the ability to do something really tricky is you get to do that now like tp behind people while they're yeah. pushing uphill and shit i mean before yeah. you couldn't do that and it was so dumb because i was like the whole point of having something to tp to later add a little variety so yeah and, and now like, like team moves aren't gonna be the same like if you crush yeah. an enemy team like five for nothing kind of near their base you could be like hey we could yeah maybe we could have taken this tier two and then gone to take roche or we can just crush this tier three and therefore take shrines and then kill their map control it's like so many more options now yeah. versus it's a lot like, less okay, boring it was All so six flow towers. charity. Yeah, exactly. Shrine, shrine. You could just like siege. there was like yeah. two full minutes you could predict exactly what they were gonna do for some A pro games lately. It was just like, okay, this what tower, does, this yeah. tower. What does shrines. everyone think of the hundred gold sentries? Oh, oh yes. Six change. Now broken apart, yeah. very nice. A little support uh, buff to supports there. Uh, just I'm, gonna throw I'm, it out there real quick. I'm, hold on, I'm, 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 just let me just stare at you, Sunset, <laughs> a little bit. Go ahead. All right. I don't know what the fuck the recording is. Somebody can go find it. I literally said this a oh. few months ago, and everybody shit on it. I don't understand. <laughs> I was like, oh! That's a... Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, did anyone shit on it? It's so obvious this is going to happen. I, mean, I believe on. Purge heavily shit on it, if I remember correctly. I think everybody did. Everybody always shit on my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> don't remember it. I applauded the change last night during the patch notes. <laughs> It's just another nice support buff. Another oh, there's a ward. I will now instantly deward it and get my money back, my rebate. So and it just makes like... your early item build so much easier too. Yeah, like yeah. when you buy two sentries, I always want one so I can deward the block camp. And then I'm like, well, now I have this other fucking sentry that I'm gonna like waste or yeah, just save like hope they get in this rune. And... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like... Yeah. It's also nice. Like I, I think sometimes I fall into those traps where if you're like leaning against a weaver and your support and you die once by mistake early and then you can't afford a pack of sentries and you're like there's one thing I need to win this lane right now and it's fucking detection but I don't have 200 gold this helps yeah. mitigate a little bit of that super manageable yeah, I yeah. See, it's cool I like it it's a great idea it's novel well done Suns fan they should hire I you as a developer you should apply to Valve <laughs> it has nothing to do with me it's just common sense it's <laughs> <laughs> No, but the, <laughs> if you guys want to talk about some of the talents that were changed that were really cool, I think the one that stood out to me, I mean, there's plenty, but the one that I'm excited to see in pro play especially is Tusk. Same. I was going to say Level 10 same talent, 20% XP gain is now 35% at level 10. Yeah. It's fucking 10. insane. Man. That's huge. That That's like saving the tomes worthy. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to buy that shit early, bank it up. So good. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, all of his talents are really good. There's a lot of heroes like that, that where I feel like Icefrog finally did something like dangerous, kind of. Uh, like uh, Line and Lina, minus 25 respawn at 10. I want to get that like every time, because I know if I go somewhere and my gank fails, that I'm going to be alive 25 seconds earlier to TP back to lane to set up a gank somewhere else. That's super valuable. But there are very few heroes that had like experienced talents at 10, gold talents at 10, yeah. respawn times at 10. But now all the bad heroes, which heroes that just like weren't as good in lane, are going to have those now. It's, it's a cool way to buff buff the game, I think. You know what I don't understand? I thought Annie Mage was super good in the last <clears> patch, <throat> especially with the Ags. As a support player, he was hell on earth. He got super buffed. What the fuck is that? Were pro players not picking him or what? I mean, yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I, I like this thing. change, though. I really did. The minus two second cooldown blink at level 25 was really obnoxious. I like the idea of making that an earlier talent so it scales. And I don't know. Is this a crazy nerf can... slacks, the mana void cooldown? Is that what you're talking about? No, it's the buff. He got, he got or the buff, buff, rather. That's what I, sorry, I meant yeah. to say buff. I don't yeah. think Are it's that me? huge. I don't think it's that huge oh, either. You'll see. I'm pretty excited Slaps. to see two in one team fight because it's, you what, 20 seconds now? Slaps. What? The reason that AM beats you is because your play style is group don't S5 start and end the game. And you <laughs> can split push. Shit. Which is why it's not lose. about me. It's I'm a counter about... to it's a counter to the way that you play Dota. You don't know. Anti mage is a counter. Arch. You it don't is. Know shit. I try to pretend like you have your head, your mind wrapped around me. You don't know garbage, bro. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought an interesting one uh, was Beastmaster. Nothing crazy. It's just literally every talent essentially got buffed a little bit because nobody plays that hero still. Yeah. Any other heroes? Uh... Oh, <clears throat> Lone, Lone Druid me. not getting significantly oh, yeah. changed. I Lone think Druid, that was maybe surprising. Nerf, 
I was slight nerves. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what happened there. From That's 50 seconds slight. down to 40 seconds for that crazy talent. And he it's loses, like, was it 25 attack range only? Yeah, right? from 200 to 175, yeah. and the level 15 talent is from 65 damage to plus 55. So, calibration, kind of, but... He got buffed for bear mode, actually, technically. Yep, more armor to spirit bear. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty big one, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm pulling not, shenanigans. That was the I'm not on the hate train for long druid. I'm one of the few, though. You should be. <laughs> I like sniper, you know. Uh, you just you just got to pick used to. You just got to pick uh gap closers, you know. It's, it's no big yeah. deal. But then he has savage roar, you know. And then yeah. hurricane pike and I will say day. 500 movement speed. I also oh, like that they made Pudge even slower down to 280 now. He's the caboose, man. Ooh, he's almost the last tier now. Yeah. Can we talk about the new meme? What's that? Cuz I was playing it last night. It, it's called Bounty Hunter with Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. Is it good? It's so okay. I haven't seen it either. So, you know how I, I love to rate these Aghanim Scepter upgrades, right? Yes. So yep, when Bounty Hunter came out with Ags initially, I was like, oh, that sounds that sounds pretty cool. I tried it in like two or three games. And it was I had to suffer garbage. through that. <laughs> it was I was in those games. It was <laughs> so useless. useless. Did okay. nothing. Now, it's god. I think I don't know if godly is the right word, but it's very very good because. You always have it changes the mini stun to be a 0.75 second stun, so it's consistent no matter what. Even if she's used on one hero, it's still freaking good to get Aghanim Scepter. I think as a semi luxury, perhaps not like the first right. two items or anything. Mm -hmm. But my God, if you do it correctly with like the entire team tracked, it's fucking a cask that comes <laughs> back every time. Yeah. It's so disgusting. <laughs> How many times does it bounce? It it's it hits twice hero per hero. Twice. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's like a snake, and then it goes back. But not only that, Jesus. but like the you get what, what was the talent? Uh, the talent that uh, spell amp. What was it? Increases the damage. Yeah, the seventy-five extra toss damage on top. Oh, Wait, what, oh was, wow. what is eight percent? Uh, what was it before? Like, it was 8 it was eight percent spell amplification. Yeah, what is that? I'm like four hundred, isn't it? Or like three seventy-five? So it's like eight. like thirty-six damage ish. Yeah, so yeah. it's okay, like so thirty-five it damage or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... it makes Dagon builds worse, but yeah, it's, as a whole, better. Yeah, true. But I think, I don't wow. know if it's actually good, but it felt good. It felt yeah. good. The, the stats are good. I think the build can certainly fit. It just kind of depends if you want to get griefs first, I think, because yeah. um, Bounty has huge issues team fighting. That's like one of his biggest weaknesses. So I hypothet and that's why usually players buy mech, I think. So if you could hypothetically get ags out of it really rapidly, it certainly helps you team fight. It already bounces, but the fact that it can bounce and mini stun for that long. I think cask stuns for one second per bounce. So if it I mean, it's not even a mini five, stun but... anymore, right? Like, what's constant? What constitutes as a mini stun? Point Anything less one... than like point one seconds. Point one. Yeah. 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 Headshot. That's it. I think. That's not a mini stun yeah, anymore. That's not though. a stun. Well, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm most excited about? It's super fun. What? The slacks. best thing in the entire thing: the Ember Spirit nerf. Oh, I've been rooting Ember Spirits How big was all it? week. Think Ember to twelve. I want to say. Now, Root now disables oh, his, yeah, his yeah. remnants. Yes, it's I all, agree. It's just great as a support. Yeah. Oh, God. See, I, I can't keep track of these Roots, though. Like, they all have different rules, and it's kind of yeah, confusing. Roots, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They somehow little... became more confusing. Like but I, I agree with Slack, so this is a great change. Ember just felt unstoppable as a support in the early game, where you're just like, what, what do I do against this guy? He runs up on me. I stun him. He just runs away. Ugh. I mean, you even bit. if you did root him too, you you're a support. All you have is magical damage. You can't do anything. He just sits there with his yeah. fucking remnant on. But now, oh, you're mm -hmm. mine. You, you basically have to go on him when you know you're going to beat him. It's kind of like playing against Monkey King or Ursa. If you if you okay. underestimate you killing him, he's just going to blow you up. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair analogy. Buying magic resistance helps a shitload too. What about Monkey King? Do you guys think he's ready for captain's mode yet? I mean, we'll I find like... out in two we'll days. See. That base elimination oh! mode. <laughs> You, that is how you know they were selling Arcanas when he, after so long, base armor reduced by three. Like, really? That's, that's brutal. Yeah, it was I, I did like his talent so changes, though. I don't his know. talent I, changes were good. I, I feel like Monkey King has been pretty manageable. I mean, I know I'm in scrub tier, but I, I'm not getting rolled by Monkey Kings anymore like it was when he first came out. I mean, Weaver, I, I Sniper, a couple other good vision I think he's just completely shit late game, and people yeah, play him yeah. as a one. I and started playing him like a week ago, and he's been out for what over a month, two months, or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed that people would just leave my lane and never come back, and I was like, "This is actually working. Like, I'm getting every last hit, but <laughs> I'm not getting like five kills in lane yeah. like I would be if they were actually here." And it actually worked. Yeah. Yeah. Slack always compares him to Viper, but... which is pretty accurate, I'd say. Yeah, dude. 
He's Viper. He just bailed. Just like free jumping right. Viper. This is fucked. See ya. See ya. Seven minutes, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I had a Sand King in the off lane feed him seven kills by it was like the six minute mark. This guy literally just go back to lane and died a Monkey King, and everyone just told him, and we still won. So that was our game. Maybe he wasn't <laughs> that. <laughs> was that was that on your head? We all got problems. I just remember it was brutal. Yep. Yesterday I played a game with the Legion Commander, and she had. 20 dual damage and the juggernaut on the enemy team had 80 we all <laughs> we all had a moment we paused the game we all talked and all in chat please stop There's anyone but jug anyone but jug and she wouldn't do it and it, it was horrendous great game horrendous horrendous anyway, Whoa, uh, another, another hero I, that i like the changes is doom uh i I'm actually tried it, it out yeah, plus 80 devour bonus gold is pretty... Yeah, I think you actually 10. just max. I think you just oh, wow. max it. Yeah, um, depending on what lane you are. And maybe uh, at 2 Scorch, but yeah, I would agree. Uh, and then the 15 Scorch Earth extra damage slash heal, and then I didn't like the the plus 35 Doom DPS, because I, I think the alternative is like 25 regen. I think I would probably take regen every single time. But... I think it... I guess it depends on the hero. It feels really good, good on in some games. Because you, you don't need to get Midas, I don't think. You just... Literally, just talent use this freaking talent, yeah, and the buy some other like items. Overkill. I think it's good. So what's also, the build on him now then? Some sort of an aura early <laughs> spending on the game. Do you buy helm? On the position, I guess. Get like I double creep idea. abilities. Ooh, oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. So play. Speaking purge of creep abilities, <laughs> that purge nerf, I am so happy with. I got killed by that the other day. You don't realize that first second is a hundred percent movement speed slow. It's basically a root, except it's not. That is a really powerful creep in the early game. I, I think that too powerful oh, yeah. oh the little purge creep yeah <laughs> and can someone explain this to me i've been wondering why anybody so for dragon knight they buffed a talent that i never got because i thought it was garbage yeah the level 15 talent is 35 percent xp gain why would you get that when you're already level 15 is like, that level you, 25 like, God, no his level 25 is it doubles his dragon blood armor which is it's okay on paper, but a lot of times you're just going to get countered by a silver edge anyway. And the alternative is the plus 60 move speed, which is nice. But it's a lot of that level 25. Nice. That's, that's amazing. That's a lot. At level 25, though? Yeah, level 25. Yeah, because if your ulti is on cooldown or you buyback or Aegis respawn, then you're still fast. That's the important thing. That kind of yeah. mobility advantage is huge. 60 is insane. But I don't think it's enough to... Like, what's the alternative, actually? I didn't check. I can't remember. Yeah, it's, it's double gain. dragon blood or... Oh, no, no, no. The level 15 20. talent. The uh, XP 120 gain. GPM, I think. It's like really? GPM. I think so. Oh, so no. you just have to choose between the two? Uh, I'm sure right, it's, it's I'm gonna GPM, 100%. You're 100%. 100%. 95. 95. I'm very confident. All right, I will click GPM. the buttons. Did anyone else take note of the uh, It is plus, 140, plus 40 damage. Really? Yes. You are incorrect. Does he have a GPM? Of which 86% of people he are taking. He doesn't have a GPM talent? Yeah, he has GPM at the level 20. Yeah. Isn't that what we were talking about? No, no we're level talking 15. 15. Oh, okay. The XP gain. 35 damage. Percent. What's the other one he has at 20 with the GPM? Health. 300 health. Okay. Well, we were both right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. I was talking about 20. I thought you were talking about 20. So, Actually, I win. <laughs> so I, I, thought, I thought you said at the start 35% experience at 20, which didn't make sense. And I was like, yeah, I agree with you. It's at well, 15, though, right? Yeah, yeah it's at 15. Would you ever get that, though? Over 40 damage? No, not over 40 damage. Dragonite has, like, Attack speed problems. Like if, and damage if that problems. was level ten, it, like a lowered XP, but at level ten, I might get it. But level yeah, fifteen, okay, I don't 10. understand what the point is, unless like level twenty five is just fucking ungodly or something. Yeah, Awfully the dragon has dude. farming problems, so maybe it helps you get to twenty five better. Did anyone Can I else talk take, about some other take note oh, of the Sanj and Yasha change? Okay, you can go ahead, slacks. No, Sanj and Yasha change, please. Well, it's I really mean, nice troll buff. Is yeah, I mean that that's not an item that I I'm seeing so much. You know, is that enough to make Sanj and Yasha come back to life? 30% maim chance. Well, Halberd too, right? To 35. Oh. another change last patch? Yeah, it basically Sanj got buffed. It, yeah. And then the Halberd cooldown uh. was lowered from 30 to 22. I guess it's pretty good, but... There's there's too many other items for carries right now, like Echo Saber. Like, there's so many other melee items that have yeah. good builds. Shadow Blade upgrades... You can go early bashers. You can. There's so many things. The SNY is just not as good. And Manta is so good for pushing lanes in pro scene. Plus, it gives you a dispel. That SNY has just fallen off. What happened to and SNY? And then you range. break it into Manta and then Halberd. You know, whatever. What happened to the what? ghost? Things? Literally never good. Ever. <laughs> never good. That was more of a Han thing because in Han you could 
make it into like four different items, I think. Yeah, well, you needed the Sanj to make the uh, equivalent of Scotty, so it, it scaled yeah. a lot better. So I'm looking at the talent thing. I forgot Invoker. So he has a level 15 talent that gives 30% XP. That one makes sense. Because yeah, you want to get the yeah, to get the AOE deafening blast or whatever, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Dragon, I I still don't understand. Well, so, every level that you get on Invoker is yeah. is more spell stuff. Mm -hmm. it's very good. So, All right, yeah. I want to talk about some stuff nobody has been talking about. Yeah. What do you got, Slacks? Really good. Okay. Just with it. I feel like Visage is sick. He got a bunch of really good buffs on every single talent, and I think it might be pushing him over to the edge. I don't know. I like going a ninety minute gold at ten minutes. Uh, level 10 is crazy, but anyway, the two things I really want to talk about. Uh, Undying, his level 25 was switched over to his level uh, 20, and it's the tombstone damage. That's so fucking crazy, because team fights, I mean, he falls off so hard until that 25. Now, my precious refresher Undying build is oh, even more viable. It's oh, actually God, viable I love it. now. It's super situations. viable. Yeah. I love it. Two okay. tombstones on both sides of the racks. You on have to understand. Sides. Slax <laughs> gets six slotted no matter what hero he plays. So it's true. So it, it uh, is viable. Not really. <laughs> Slax <laughs> aims for a three slot every game. It's like his well, boot choice, his eggs, and his refresh. It right? He just leaves the other three empty. <laughs> it's just the whole game. That's What's also slot. really good about this though, the minus two second decay cooldown at level twenty five to replace the old zombie damage at twenty five. That's sick, dude. That gets your decay down to two second cooldown. If you get yeah, an eggs I mean, with that, like you're yeah, it's insane, dude. Want some fucking eggs on our dying well. Anyway, and even if you don't have eggs, it's good because yeah. you could actually, if you drop tomb and somebody kills it right away, and you buy a refresh orb and drop your second tomb and somebody kills it right away, at least you can decay every two seconds. Yeah, that's really nasty. You drop them both at the same time, Purge, on both sides of the racks, so they just don't know what to <laughs> what do. What if it's a sniper and he's just like boop 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 boop? Well, done. you don't do it against sniper, Purge. All right, I like to call it the big dick on dying. The two tombstones are the balls, and then you run right in the middle You're and the fuck dick. everybody. You're the dick. Fuck them. <laughs> okay. All right, Got anyway. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk about is uh, I really think that the Warlock thing is unreal. Uh, minus four Shadow world Ward cooldown. That spell is already, like, so crazy. And well, that's at 15. That's at 15. level uh, 15. So you're just in team fights. You're just like, what? What? You're just giving them out, dude. Do you that know what the cooldown is? nuts. No, I don't. But it's it's, it's super like, short. I thought already. it was for nine. No, it's pretty high. It's like fifteen or something. It's oh. really long actually. Oh, but really? it can become perma heal. Yeah, it can always be up. Yeah, the perma heal. If it you was nine, I, yeah, that's OP as shit. I think the person I'd have to go through the list again. The one that I think is the biggest nerf is Underlord. So he gets, yeah, that level yeah. one is. Brutal. He gets fifteen less movement speed, and then Atrophy or is actually just dog shit. Yeah, it's game. so bad early now. And that was his big yeah. thing, right? From those lanes to yeah. off lane. You would like take it level one and just try and take control. Yeah. That is pretty, no more. pretty well, bad. Well, boys, there is one more hero we have to talk about here, and it is it's, the it's... Lycanthrope. He is in oh, CM uh... now. And that's a little segue maybe into some Illumination Mode talk. Yeah, he was also no, buffed. No, I'm not ready to move on. No, yeah, I got, I got one more. more. You guys have more? Yeah, one more. Yeah, we still have Wind Ranger to talk about. Yeah, Wind Runner is beastly now. Who, do you, who, who does everybody think was the most buffed hero of the whole patch? Wind Runner. Yeah, most that was my call. buff. Mo okay, most buff, but still trash. Can we agree with that? Uh, I have oh yeah, I have let's just make her. it easier. Most buff. <laughs> All right, yeah, she's still. So wait, buff. the answer slow... is the same. So it's yeah. this win run slow. <laughs> what? It's wait. What was the slow? It's twenty five percent on top of what at level four? Anybody know off the top of their head? Uh, it's like uh, thirty. So it's about fifty four percent slow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what it is. I mean, that's Six seconds. That's freaking good. But the problem is, at level ten, you don't have it maxed. I can't ever imagine how that would happen so it's yeah I mean, it's, it's still kind of good because then it's level one that's still like effective but right she needs well, you're not you're not talent. getting it for that one level though it's gonna be good throughout the whole game yeah but it's you just know. so sure. like she needs a shackle talent she doesn't need a wind run talent so you're saying the, the wind run talent so is level 15 that's what you're saying that what no you the wind run talent's level 10 the shackle talent I know, you're saying be... you want it to be level 15 yes yes i want the wind run to be 15 and i want a shackle one at level 10 okay good luck but I like you Wind know, Ranger, and that's... You could try to make all these Wind Ranger talents, but in the end, you're still playing Wind Ranger, so you still fucking lost. I mean, unless her level 25 is Switch's hero to Slark, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a good fucking talent. I would agree, Sorry. but I think she's a lot better now. Her her level 1 nuke does 180 damage. I, there's very few nukes that do that much with one skill point. That's incredible. Wow. You need a setup. Um, and your hero's still kind of slow. Though. Uh, it's 12. It's not that much. I, th I think that's reasonable. Like, if you could just compare with literally any carry that has a disable, and you could throw out a 180 power shot every time. I think she can zone off laners now. I think she's good as a support. Like, before you had to play her core, 
because otherwise yeah. your ulti is worthless. But now at least you could play your support and go for mobility options. And then it makes your shackle so much better too. Because if you're the core, you always have to initiate first usually. But if you're support, you can let the fight start and then you can counter initiate with a shackle. And that's where the hero starts getting really good value. But oh, people, I, don't, I think the average pub player has no idea how to play her correctly. And she was definitely still bad in the last patch. I think she's probably very close to yeah, strongly you guys viable see right it now. Out there, yeah, Absor did play yeah. her today as support. Uh, I thought really? they were going to drow last because there there was a fifth pick drow available, and I thought maybe that was the plan, but uh, they didn't opt for that. So it worked out pretty well. The problem was like they were controlling and doing well, and she had blink four staff, but then she went back for the eggs, and it was just. Like, they definitely needed it. I, I understood because they had the Nyx Assassin that game. So, like, that was, like, he was falling off and they were trying to fill that gap and then go further with the Wind Ranger. But I, I feel like she'll be kind of like maybe Night Stalker or something where you have, like, all these different options at the end and you have to try and decide where that damage or that control and, like, what utility you need, which is good for her. But she still, she definitely Did they struggles. Lose? Yeah, they lost. <laughs> wow, that's Wind yeah. Ranger. I, I think you, <laughs> if, you're, if you're not ramping up fast enough, and I think it's maybe dangerous to go to utility items movement speed-wise, but... I think if you're not ramping yeah. enough, you need a action item instead of your eggs, because all the eggs does is increases the single target and lowers the cooldown. Whereas if you have Maelstrom by itself, the <clears> jumps <throat> of Maelstrom do full damage even without eggs. They buffed that a couple patches ago. So I don't think you have to get eggs if you're playing support. Maybe she gets like a hex there or you know what like talents he Lincoln's went or something. Uh, he went mana regen and movement yeah. speed. It's like 40 movement speed, which is amazing when you use wind run. And then so he, he didn't got, go to wind run slow. Then. I assume he went. Uh, no, he did not. Which no, you I need the regen really though. Blame him. Yeah, the regen's yeah. so good with cover shot. Yeah. But Hero has major mana issues. I want to throw this out there. Down. Hero that was buffed quite a bit, but probably still shit. Enchantress. Anybody take note of those changes? Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she got buffed. so many changes. Level so the big ones. I think level twenty. She was minus thirty second respawn, and now that's a minus fifty second respawn at her level twenty five. And you can really buff up her heals where you can get plus 10 seconds on attendance at level 15. And then at level 20, you get plus 12 wisps on top of that. That's a lot of healing for a pretty long time in a team fight. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's good, but it's kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, so the, each wisp does a certain amount of healing, right? It's yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So the more of them, they can spread out more to the rest of your team. Like I said, I think she's still probably not that great, but they're pretty big changes. Yeah, late game fights so often come down to burst and stuff, though. So it's like, it yeah. feels like it's so rare that that's going to matter. At right. The cooldowns long. And they added a new one for her at level 20, plus 60 untouchable slow. That sounds good, but again, at that point, you're pretty much just countered with like silver edge or burst damage or something. It's it's okay, though. I think it allows you in the games where they don't have a good untouchable solution to just make untouchable a little better. Yeah, that's true. I think, okay. I think it's good. I can it, see it gives you an option. Yeah. The biggest disappointment for me was I got to Earthshaker and I saw base HP regen from and I got so hyped and I thought it was going to be like 2.5 <laughs> or 3 or like I was like offlane Earthshaker is here 0.75. That was so oh. sad. I want the hero to come back and actually be good but he feels <laughs> garbage right now. Yeah, he's, he's like, rough. Yeah. Uh, someday. Ice Frog's just prep up, man. 0.75 is just the beginning. Soon we'll get a couple digits on there. I got to say, Shaker will be back. Super excited. Because I thought this was a mistake on the Crystal Maiden plus 50 right click damage. <laughs> yeah. He gave her 10 more. It was not a mistake. It was not a placeholder. He's like, CM needs to be doing 60 fucking damage. That's the minus value right <laughs> at there. At level 10. Oh, look not at Darkseer. 120 <laughs> damage <laughs> at level 15. <laughs> that is an option. on Darkseer once when we were wrecking. It was real bad. <laughs> oh man! It, it's better it. if you get Midas. If you get Midas, that damage perk is actually okay. I think. I would pay money to see that. Uh, it's Dark just like your right click. The way he right clicks is so funny. He's like, hi -yah, the, the chop. Hi -yah. But if you're punching, then you're losing your iron shell placement. It's like it's so counterintuitive on the hero. It's like so stupid. I just want to see what like they if do you with stop to actually punch someone, they're gonna move further. 120 further away. is so much though. That's True. like tiny level damage. You know, that's pretty crazy. I love it, Battle Fury Darkseer. <laughs> Battle Fury Darkseer. Don't None even of his get... skills facilitate him as a carry, though, basically. That's a problem. Yeah. He just needs attack speed, dude. I just want to see somebody pop on somebody with two moon shards, a couple hyper stones. <laughs> Be like one of them animes <laughs> that those kids love so much. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Case. Also, the uh, the level 25 quap, the dream is now dead. Thank yep. God. Yep. Yeah, that was kind of sad. Yeah, oh, I like. I loved it. One of those weird unintended heroes of the talent tree patch. 
That no was longer. one of the stupidest things. You have it some was. asshole who picks Quop. It's like, I'm gonna just wait till I get 25. Fuck off, dude. We're not gonna make it. All right? If you yeah. pick your entire hero and strat in the dream that you get level 25, <laughs> don't fucking do uh, it. I, 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 I only got to actually do that one time. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it felt so what fucking hero? good, though. Quop? Oh, uh, oh my god, it felt oh. so good. He lost me yeah, a couple of Quop games. I'm sorry. I needed to track. I, I'm not. I, I, hey, at least I'm up front that I suck balls with the hero, okay? Jesus. Yeah. I just don't think she's very good. It's hard for her to control a game because she doesn't have stuns. If you're winning on like Lena, you just kill people and they can't stop you. But if you're Quap, you have to orchid them and then they can use Manta or like some other item they buy for staff. It's just difficult. Who the Yo, is it? Who's getting her... invaded by aliens? <laughs> it's slacks. It sounds like the sorry, sorry doing. about that. The My level twenty-five. Is some protein shakes. I apologize. Oh okay. Am I reading this right? Off. Level twenty-five Shadow Strike. If you get that talent has a one second cooldown yeah yeah that's the replacement i mean i still but think like, i'd rather should get you the be casting steel, shadow but... strike yeah i don't know support <laughs> co-op eh? you can cast one dagger on each creep think about that support co -op. yeah that... oh that reminds me of the Rolling i tried the bounty hunter janata is that the level 25 felt pretty good every one is. second oh. i'm Janata. literally every two attacks i'm janating janata you know, I played a game against a bounty hunter that did that, and he got a butterfly, and he built right click, and it was horrendous. Like he kicked the <laughs> shit out of us. There was nothing we could. That do. was the just... the old fear position one bounty. Shink, shink. It was horrible. It was like hmm. Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Those are Janatas. We'll see if uh, Brood makes a comeback too. I thought twenty five percent level ten talent pretty good for that hero. Oh. Uh, the only thing is the other one is plus sixty spider uh, spiderling, but. I, I felt like those changes potential. were like taking Brood and they're like, all right, well, we tried to make Brood carry a thing. It didn't work. Let's make Brood <laughs> better at what she was good at. That's what it feels like to me. The changes. Kill the Echo Saber builds. And yeah. Everything. yeah. All I right. still don't understand. I, I think, Ly uh, are we ready to move on to Lycan, though? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm all sure. Right. All right, the Wolfman. Yeah. Broken as fuck. Don't say I don't that know. Right now. What? Don't say the Wolfman right now. Okay. Oh, he lost me some games today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wrong wolf think, man. Yeah, Lycan is fucking broke. I can't believe they put him in captain's mode with just those nerfs. I mean, he's unreal. Are you kidding me? All the fucking the howl and everything. And let me read again. I just remember I got disgusted and then my brain deleted the information. I mean, uh, how does he work again? The howl or something gives it to everybody. It's global. Or what? Yeah, it's yeah, global. It's better it's at night. It, it gives like you. Double. It's kind of like undying. It gives you HP for a temporary amount of time. So if you're about to get killed, he can pop it and you might be able to get away. Yeah, I'm still theory crafting my ultimate Lycan team of Broodmother and uh, Night Stalker, Tree and Protector, and Night Stalker. Night Vision. Just yeah. taking your racks at eight minutes. <laughs> the spiderlings have like 400 HP. I think he's <laughs> actually over. one of those heroes that's super benefits from that uh, tier three kill for the shrines because he's one of those guys yeah. that can really just snowball. That actually gives a lot more value to the early necro builds because if you watch a lot of like six, seven k plus games of Lycan, there's like this very clear division of if you're snowballing hard enough to get necros do it but so many people are just still ditching necros just not even buying the whole game just going like solar crest kind of a build echo saber style uh armlet as well also very popular and considered pretty core on that hero so yeah we'll see maybe, maybe it's enough now to to make the necros super good but i was surprised how many lichens at like the highest tier are just totally ignoring necros I thought it would be a lot more popular. Lycan was one of the heroes I was more excited to see in elimination mode. It's like, is you know, I you know, you look at Monkey King, you think, okay, he'll probably be banned out a fair bit, but I think Lycan is one that might get through a game or two. Now, I guess we'll certainly we, see. We've him. seen their pro games today already, and there's yeah. some teams that really like Lycan. I think it's one thing. Liquid always picked Lycan a lot, for example. Yeah, he even he tweeted before the series, <laughs> <laughs> like the Lycan picture. Like that's how intent they were on getting that hero. Damn. Well, should we talk about elimination mode a little bit, gang? So who's who's left that's uh, not in CM now? Is it just Monkey King and Treant? Is techies. That a, and techies. techies. Techies! Are those the only three? I think so. I think Recently so. Recently got buffed. Mm. May, I, may I recommend? Uh... Who did Techies? Oh, yes. I thought oh, he got yes. nerfed. No, no, nerfed. sir. He got three buffs and one little nerf at 25. Give us the deets. Oh, man. I think uh, they had to nerf the... Uh, the um, Level 25, uh, more less cooldown because if you got an Octarine, your sign had 100% uptime, and that was fucking funny as hell. That's it's a just... little, little goofy. 
<laughs> it was good, but everything else is better. The XP range, uh, the cast range on Techies is was super broken. If you got an uh, Aether Lens and the cast range, you could just siege high ground from fucking uh, range distance with Red Mines. But I will say the nerf, they try to nerf them, make the Red Mines cost uh, 50 gold if you get one. But if you're a good Techies, no one's clicking those Red Mines anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't that's fair. Is it, is it really that hard? Because I've never really, I, I honestly never click on them. But now that I know they're worth 50 gold, I'm gonna like see somebody pick a techies. And I'm gonna pick like yeah. Tusk and TP to the safe lane and like throw my sigil <laughs> up to scout. And I'm just gonna last at every single one and kill like five. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> a lot of money. Uh, I give them that, but I, I, I don't know. At the same time, if you do it right and they're in the woods, it is super hard to get them. But if you're so, yeah. an idiot, yeah. I mean, so it'd be like in the trees and it's got an AoE, right? And if I'm in the yeah. AoE, even if I don't see it, it'll time down, right? It will explode, yeah. Yeah, okay. right? So you have to actually see it to right click it, but I don't know. I it's still, I can't stand those mines, man. They drive me crazy. I, oh, I, I walk it. the whole map clicking at my hero's feet, and I feel like it's going to give me carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, don't want to get surprised by a mine. I mean, I think you summarized that change pretty well, Trent, in the other podcast I did. You're like, somehow they found a way to make that hero more obnoxious to play against. Like, I yeah, didn't think I, that was possible, but it's... That silence them. is... Because I don't want to <laughs> yeah, kill myself when I get silenced by that too. stupid hero. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was so confused. I did, somehow I missed that in the initial patch notes, and I was just getting silenced in these fights, and I was like, what is happening? And my <laughs> buttons aren't working. I will say that there's man. a lot of bugs with techies right now that are very beneficial to him, and I won't name what they are, but... <laughs> Of course. That's like you're a, actually scummed. <laughs> there is a you're shitload of bugs that are just like, okay, it's great. For example, I'll give you one, all right? Okay, give us one. a teaser. Give is us this going to get you kicked out of like the Techies Guild or something? All right, I'll give you two. So back when the patch first came out, if you put red mines in the lane, creeps would walk over it and they would see it and then they'd attack it. You'd get nothing. Now creeps just ignore it, which is not intended. It was supposed to be like that. Number two... I think I played last night in Greed Mines. If you put them under towers, they just don't attack them. It's fucking awesome. Or are they considered like neutral? For some reason, they're coding them as neutral neutrals or something because yeah. that new change. Now, there was a nerf bug too. Your uh, your stasis traps they appear invisible to your teammates as well. Like not invisible, but you know, like when you have an invisible unit and they're kind of halfway cloaked. Mm -hmm. So oh, now yeah. your teammates can't see stasis traps as well anymore, and you have to point them out. But there's a lot of bugs. Keep it that way. Okay. <laughs> nothing's wrong. Everything's great. What, what benefit is there to having green mines by a tower? Are you uh, kidding me? Well, Jesus, fully like three. TV? You put three down during a siege, and then every time the creeps uh, appear, you insta kill them. If you have ags, it's great. I mean, Jesus. Then if you think, put a sign down, think, oh. I think okay. Slex says that normally, if they had vision, they would have detection. The creeps would attack the mines before the tower, but now they ignore the mines and attack the tower. So you never lose a mine to creeps. Now is that correct? Yeah, you do, you just don't lose mine. Do creeps creep. attack the green mines, or is it just the red if mines? If they have they detection. Ignore? They attack the green mines. But before the red mines, if a creep, if you put it in lane and a creep saw it, he would attack it. And Immediately. They yeah. don't do that anymore. Oh, it's so good. That's huge, oh. actually. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> All right. We'll keep it a secret here, Slacks. Don't worry. All right. Don't worry. No one watches the shit We'll anyway, delete the so evidence. Yeah. Luckily for you. For, yeah. for, just looking for a challenge. I win too many games, so just trying to help the community and get a oh, nice good. challenge. You're so selfless. <laughs> How generous. I win too many games. Hey, hey, gang, mm -hmm. what did y'all think about Dark Moon? Did we enjoy the uh, PvE slaying of Invokers? I know Trent was into it because he's a PvE nerd, but... I was. Yeah. I thought it was a lot of fun. That was a good mode. I played... I'll tell you what I did, actually. I queued, like, 13 games of Tusk, I think, in total over Dark Moon, and I don't <laughs> think I won a single one. By really? the end of it, I was so good at Tusk, but... I, so, well, I never did it with a team, like, with anyone I knew, and it was mostly just randos, and I never made no, them, you like, pick the right heroes. It was but... horrible. Oh yeah, he's like we he's do pretty have bad. A, an honorable mention so here, bad. as well. <laughs> Mott played exactly one Dark Moon, and he beat it all the way through on his first try. So he was, was that that Techies cheese shit though. I have no idea how they did it, but yeah, uh, honestly, the whole Techies thing. Did it. I actually do not. I don't, I don't think they used Techies. I, I don't think it was yeah, Techies. Did anyone actually win fair and square? Yeah, we did. Yeah, beat it. We did. Mott did once I or just twice. Uh, I only did one victory, I think, or maybe two. I don't remember. I had a I had a pub one. random victory, and I had a <laughs> wow. Techies pub random victory. Guys, Mott's victory. really oh. good at raids, as Nate says. So he that's, was, that's hey. of He's course probably... he was able to one shot it. The only way I, uh, we were able to beat it was to do the mega farm <laughs> composition, which is Medusa. Oh, that was uh, stupid. Oh, the we, we got like <laughs> disruptor like thirteen or eighteen thousand gold or something. It's disgusting. Gold. Yeah, it's so was good. So stupid. I didn't even rush. know you could get that much. We were like, I still have four thousand gold. I have nine items now. <laughs> yeah.
Just save it. <laughs> Why? Yeah, we were like backpack refreshing, basically. That's, that's how farmed we were. <laughs> really Yo, what a great event, though. Way for Valve to go back to their roots. Holy shit. Yeah. I uh, give shit. the community some free sets. Have them do something fun. Have it be a limited time. And ah, such great memories from the first Dire Tide. I mean, really, hats off to them. And it, it was just 0% of any mubby, money grubbing shit. They just want to give us a beautiful yeah, gift. Yeah, you couldn't, like, buy it's anything. Great. Yeah, it was lovely. really well balanced, I thought, too. Yeah. Like, good game design. Like, it was very fun. The first night that I played it, I played it for, like, five or six hours just learning stuff, yeah. trying new heroes. I played Triant, like, four games in a row just to, like, really flesh out item builds. I, I think if you pay attention to, to item builds, I think a lot of people will learn about item composition a lot better by playing that game as well. Just knowing, like, what's truly going to make you stronger. Like, custom games like that are always good for teaching item strategies. Yeah. Was there a better event? I'm trying to think what other events I think, there uh, were. The Greaveling? Like, just Frost as fun, honestly. Uh, Wraith Knight, it, I feel like, didn't have as much replayability as this one. This one. No, oh, yeah. not at all. That one sucked, I thought. Dire Tide, yeah. I thought, got old super fast. What was the other one, Slacks? The Greaveling, the greatest event Dota's ever had, where you uh, blew Pokemon and had them fight. Holy yeah, I, I don't shit, think I, I like that, that one very yeah, much. I, didn't, I think this one might be my favorite, one. actually. Greaveling yeah, was probably the best one. I, I think I like Dire Tide 1 better, personally. But Dire I think Tide this was a very good cool too suck. If you have a naked like grieve, Grievel, does that mean you didn't do the Grieveling thing very much? No, you didn't even grow your Pokemon. Yeah. You have to, like, put I kept certain naked. ingredients oh, in the egg. God. and new oh, bloom. So fun. Yeah, fuck the, that one. Remember dude. the new bloom monster? Like oh, the, God, the tails. year beast. Yeah, yeah the year was, beast. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. That was the worst. <laughs> that was definitely the worst. Was the it? Year Beast was weird. It was, almost it was awful. Good. Just too pay to win. Was all. Yeah. It was super pay to win. I, I don't very, remember this one. Wait, what was the concept? He like teleported like the, around. It was like a jumping around, and everyone just found a bug to get him stuck in the trees, and it was just. Wasn't oh, there God. a Boring. mode? Wasn't there a Year yeah. Beast two where he was like a mob and he would play yeah, in the in game, game and shit? Yeah, yeah. That shit. Was, yeah, that was the pay to win one. That was. Fun. And everybody would pick the same characters, and everybody could like spend points to use like. Oh, Zeus yeah, ulti, yeah. Gold oh, oh like, my god, that was, was like awful. Everybody spams that buttons, shit. whoever paid to one. You know, something they can do yeah. every two to three months, because let's just assume they're not going to do these events as often as we would like, right? They could literally just put a mod that somebody's already made and just advertise it in that a way that makes it an event, and they put items into the game that you get free. Everybody's into that, right? Yeah, sure. I think there's a lot of great... Uh, Mod, what are they actually called? Fuck, custom games. Custom Arcade games, mods. Games, yeah, custom mods games. is yeah. probably fine. There's a lot of really good ones. I think that they could probably do that. With. Do you know who has been uh, slaying that concept? It, it looks like old Dota is Overwatch. Like I don't play Overwatch very much, but I see it all the time popping up on Twitter and on Reddit that they have so many events, and they're like, "Oh, it's the new, you know, Chinese New Year event." There's all these skins, and it's like, "Oh, mm. Christmas and all these skins and Halloween." I was like, "I remember when Dota well, had so many updates of all these fun things." Isn't and... that kind of the whole thing too with Overwatch though? Because there you can't play the competitive mode all the time. It goes in seasons, so they're all about those like chunky, digestible like it's like a sprint, you know, taking that yeah. the best part of Diablo, which everybody likes the ladder reset. You know, like that's kind of what they're counting. Just wait. I would also like to point out that as of 2015, Blizzard had 2,600 employees, and I believe. Oh yeah, Elvis no, I can understand why. Got less they're than like they're really nailing the whole idea. <laughs> oh, you just have to wait, buddy. Just wait. You see, every event well, they have to get better and better looking sets. Now I come from a little game called Team Fortress 2. Okay, <laughs> back in the day, we'd have a little hat come out. What a nice hat. <laughs> fucking six, two or five years later, you don't even know who that guy is. There's just people running around. You can't even tell what hero was being played. It's a fuck fest. It's a clown fest. Flash, can we stream some TF2 sometime? No, I'm that not would be going fun. Back. Come I'm on, done. let's go back, dude. That's where I started too. I got pulled away from that for some dire tide or something. And I was. <laughs> Top I, I, was crazy. Crazy. I had that. like a thousand hours in TF2 and then someone introduced me to Dota. Dire Tide, bro. Yeah, yeah they, they were like, come get free them. items. You like free hats. You can sell them for TF2 hats. <laughs> wow. I was told. Top <laughs> 100 ranked God. medic US. Wow. I'm never going back. What a That's, sexy I'm sure you were trip. very selfless too, I'm sure. They fucked me. I got but one going, going back to the, the, the valve other. not having enough employee thing. <laughs> yeah. The That's definitely true to some degree. I think if you look at it that way, but they also have created something that allows them to outsource pretty much everything if they want to, and that's called the workshop. Not only cosmetics, but like I just talked about the mods, the yeah. custom games. If I mean, they could literally just outsource this stuff. You, know? you can't do that, though. I mean, sorry. I, in case you forget the uh, Skyrim mod scandal, people don't want to pay for stuff that no, they you get don't, for free. What would you pay? You don't think a mod creator would want their, their mod to of be course free they would. in an event like this? Yes, but people don't want to have it associated with, oh, well, I have to play it now to get sets? Well, I could have done that for free. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Not, people are shut, shut up, Slice. They I don't, don't like understand. They don't like that shit. <laughs> they I don't legitimately like legitimately don't understand. <laughs> no, no. Is your argument? Okay. Uh-huh. Reddit will have a problem with it. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's... Move, move on. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I genuinely don't understand. Jesus it. Christ. <laughs> Just end it. I All can't right. believe how far we've gotten in this podcast, to be honest with you. Pull the plug. We, pull the plug. Came in here with just Purge Wait, was on TV. <laughs> weren't we supposed to be talking about elimination mode right yeah, now? Yeah, we got, we got sidetracked. Let's, let's loop elimination mode back into uh, the discussion. It starts in two days. We uh, have a bright early start. I think we're up to, what is it now, Shannon? 8 a.m.? Uh, our time. Two days? Can we talk uh, about the more exciting tournament that starts in two days? Mr. Cat? Mr. Cat the is cat back. The cat returns. Yeah, let's take Southeast a moment Asia. to talk about the sea region. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't know what is happening in that part of the Dota world, but we've got Fnatic going almost disbandarino with Mushi leaving, right? S1 Lycos yeah. lose their sponsor and a player, and now they've become the Young Minds. Um, we've got MVP Sig Revolution. Trust lost their sponsor. Yes, yeah, Sig Trust. That's the other big one. They lost their sponsor, so now they are just Team Trust, and they also lost a player, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now MVP Revolution, uh, they're no longer able to participate because they couldn't get in their their visas for South Korea, and they're paying from Kur- Kur- is it Kyrgyzstan is yep. way too much to play online and see. So they're out of there. It's like Jesus Christ, guys, what's Mr. happening? Kiss. Please, wait, are they actually just trust? So yeah, yeah there's Team Trust. Team, yeah, Trust. Team Trust. Oh my S- the Signature was the sponsor, so they were Sig dot Trust for so long, and that. Oh okay. Like that's actually years. crazy though. Yeah, for like yeah. an absurd amount of time, and Lakels was on that team. I think he still is, but uh, that's that's insane to me that that sponsor was finally like, you know what, guys, we're not getting ROI on this thing. We can't. <laughs> like, yeah. You are now named Trust. Team Trust. But no, Mr. Cat's gonna be awesome. Uh, Trent's gonna be tearing it up. And uh, there is Mr. Cat every day that there is elimination mode. So if you just want to keep that Moonduck stream going 24-7 between rebroadcasts, I think we're pretty much going to be there. If you want to listen to me for like 12 hours. Dude. Started bright and early. It's like <laughs> South East nice. Asia. If I wasn't working elimination mode, I would do that, Trent. Yeah. I sure would. Yeah. I would. I know. With so all this hard. talk, though, the C games are almost always really fun to watch. I, I they think are. they're very competitive. The players are very good. When me and Slice oh, yeah. tested uh, Mr. Cat back in the day. Oh, it was great a great experience, of my life. and the Dota games were good. Very good stuff. Oh, yeah. You were I like a harsh C. admin. They they don't want you back. <laughs> the greatest admin yeah. in, in esports. <laughs> this game's paused. You have two minutes and thirty five seconds left before I fucking disqualify you. <laughs> like, shake it out, get it over with. Well, hey, oh, Mr. Cat will be exciting. I mean, EG's oh, yeah. not playing in that tournament, so you can go ahead and talk about players and their item builds without getting attacked for it. So that's pretty that's exciting. That's very true. Huh? <laughs> that there is very true. No fear of the flames. <laughs> no fear. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> that, SEA. No, it's going to be good. The clip? Got him. I didn't. How how bad was it? Were they I haven't watched it. Nobody, nobody cared Nobody's enough to watch done the their research. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... So I, know we're gonna t- I forgot what... All right, so... Uh, for those that weren't watching, basically when you're a caster, right? Like you're gonna see some things that you think are weird, or maybe a reason that they lost the game, and you have to just describe it to the best of your understanding. I'm sure what happened was Cap and Gods were saying that somebody should have bought a Lotus Orb and it would have solved the problems or something, and maybe they went a little too ham and Kurt thought that it was insulting <laughs> and was upset about it and tweeted it. So yeah, this is a huge yeah. story, by the way. Sure. Oh, breaking Gra- <laughs> crown breaking. <laughs> Oh, the drama! I love it when something looks like <laughs> and it's gonna could be full of drama. And apologize too, like. And yeah. it's like yeah. But we all get so excited. We're like, oh, this is it! This is the replacement of the puppy blog. Come on, baby! And then just. Eh. We were we were long overdue for some caster player interaction. It had been yeah. too long. That's true. I love it. I think it's an integral part. Mm-hmm. People, casters and players should hate <clears throat> each other. They should just constantly talk shit. That's why, why Counter Strike is big, right? Well, we're, must be. We're gonna have a lot of fun with you this elimination mode, Slacks. Oh boy! Oh, I don't, I don't cast. I don't I, cast. That's that's <laughs> true. I need to keep my positive relationships with players. I'm an interviewer, please. Thank you. Anyway, oh going back to the original. Question. So back to elimination mode. <laughs> Moonbox uh, blockbuster oh, tournament. Right, that thing. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. Eastern. So 16 CET. Yeah, so slightly earlier start for day one. It's going to be good. Uh, All of the details. Last time, one of the big problems we had with elimination mode was communicating schedule changes. uh, And we have a solution. Our website now updates in real time when we update the source document, Buka, God. 
uh, making our lives easier and all of that is found on moonduck.tv slash em3 so you can Ooh. you know go there for live standings and that kind of stuff during the tournament should be good though i'm pumped up we are we are like the basement is looking good last em not gonna lie we had zyori producing and hosting it was not the dream this time we've got everything separated out our dedicated producers coming the downstairs is looking fresh i'm ready slacks you ready for that nice. crisp 60 fps I'm ready. I'm ready mm. for Annie to yell at me again, <laughs> laughing, for half for enjoying myself. Oh, well, she was casting. Yeah, I remember. Yep. Just, just it was like everyone else is working, and like whoever wasn't working at the house was just all fucking around, but we could still hear you on the mics. Yeah, we great. could hear you oh, laughing. Yeah. I, I, we weren't fucking around. It was generally funny. Yep. Yeah, Slacks and I, I think, are ready to be the laugh track again for Elimination there Mode 3. Nothing is better than laughing while Maud is casting because it bothers him <laughs> so much. <laughs> Yeah, Even please keep that, understand. actually. That's that just good. annoying, dude. We're in a basement. <laughs> we're right next to each other, and we're just watching the game. What am I supposed to do? What, is it a library? We're having a good time. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> go to a different room. I don't know. A library. I have to say, speaking of Elimination Road, I thought that video was the best Slacks intro video of oh, all time. It wasn't even you. close. It's I all the actors. laughed the entire time. Mott was fantastic. The mangoes in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, and Mott just made the perfect face. The slow Thank zoom you. ins on his face. <laughs> just like way I too many I thought played a very, uh, very believable woman. So, yes. Yes. fun fact, it was supposed to be a real woman doing that role. And then uh, the time of day that we wanted to film it, all the women we knew were working. So, And Annie was already an extra in that scene. So we bought a wig and I, I tried to do the double. Immediately, Slax's response was, oh, it's just so obviously Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was showing my wife and I said, now this is really convenient because he owns a lot of women's clothing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, save a little money there. You know. So I mean, no, yeah. you me we just we spent money on a wig. <laughs> we did. Yeah. It was twenty dollars of Moon Duck money <laughs> down what the tubes. After straight into your closet or what? Uh, oh. I, <laughs> like who's, I don't who's know using where it is. Is. Where, I don't like, know. Are we gonna. Hey, we could use that for elimination. Mode. I'm just saying, I'd no? get permission to spend twenty Moon Duck dollars on a wig. That's all. Oh, yep. okay. My bad. Like a little heads up. We'll have to start getting purged to approve my expense reports. Can I express ship our my horse head <laughs> to the Elimination Mode Studios? Sure. Moonduck, can it buy me a toupee purge? Is that something we can afford? <laughs> Wait, I have a question. How come it was supposed to be Monkey King though? Why? Why was it a wig? Why were you wearing a wig for that scene? Okay, so the original scene, the dream was, is that they would just have the voice line, and then he would look back, and behind him there would be a man in a monkey suit. And then he would see him, and then he'd be like flipping Mod off, and then he'd go and see the Dragon Knight. But... I would have approved that expense, definitely. Right. <laughs> a full body monkey suit definitely would have been approved. <laughs> We also it's found great. that it's it's hard to film in public places uh, like you know Wendy's or other fine establishments yeah, that was like pretty Applebee's. Uh, we got well, kicked out. Yeah, they, they don't like that. So I think if we were wearing a monkey suit, they probably would have kicked us out faster. At least it was a short scene, so we were kind of able to film it and run. There was a guy eating in the Wendy's that just got up and left the second we pulled out the wig. And the look on his face was "fuck this shit, I'm out. I don't even want the fries. I'm, the I'm old done." Man was like sitting across from us. He's like, <laughs> he just got up and left. No, but our first take was in old Chicago. We went in there, and we were like, hey, can we get a quiet booth? We're going to do something for a student project. By the way, if you ever want to do something really crazy Clever. and scary, say student project. All right? yeah. It sounds a lot better than a whole, uh, one of my internet videos, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Anyway, so we're in the old Chicago. We're filming the first scene. I'm filming, and then a man comes over, and he's like, excuse me. You cannot film in old Chicago. There are banners up for old Chicago, and we don't know what you're filming. And I'm like, it's just a student project, bro. We're almost done. And he's like, no, you must go. And, but we already ordered our food. So then there's this 20-minute awkward period where we're all just <laughs> sitting there waiting for our food and pissed off. And we're like, should we just fucking go? No, we shouldn't go. And then we thought about you, Purge. Yep. And we were, <laughs> we were like, were we can't do what we did to that guy. We can't just leave old Chicago because they wronged us. We need to eat their food and leave them a tip. Oh, okay. order food and then like... Well, yeah. we didn't order food, but like enter the restaurant and like sit down. This time like... we had ordered. We already had drinks and ordered food, and we were contemplating leaving. Oh yeah, leaving. that would have been. Real but difficult. we stayed. <laughs> we, 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 we had a what would purge do moment, and uh... did you tell them you were filming when you came? Yes. In, or... yes. Yes. We asked for permission, and they gave it to us initially. Then the manager got befuddled. Then the manager saw Annie in the dinosaur head, and he's like, "Oh fuck! <laughs> I got a weird furry shit. I gotta stop this. I'm going out." <laughs> That's like that that time we left that restaurant and broke Kevin Purge's heart. That was yeah. From, yep. Did we tell that story already? In Montreal, we I think we, we did. did. I think we did. Yeah. 
but it w- it was fun. It was a good video. It came deserved. together. Um, so the other big thing for EM, the voting is coming back. The hero bans. We're banning 30 heroes every day, and the polls will open 36 hours before the first series starts. So uh, they will be opening up basically uh, 24 hours from now, tomorrow night. You can get to voting. Or wait, do I have the math wrong? No. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they open tonight. I I don't so, know. So the important thing is last time, how many heroes did we ban? 10? Yes, Something and this like time it's 30. So we're banning 30 every day, and they're only best of three. So before, it would be like maximum, what, 20 bands or something? Or uh, 10 picks, 10, tw- 10 bands, right? So there'd be like 20 heroes gone every match. But now there's like 30 gone from the start, so there's only like, what, oh, 70 so heroes good. left over? 80 heroes um, left over for a best of three. So that means by the end of the... Th- basically, in the best of... In the third game, you're down 70 heroes. So the third game, they're picking from a pool of like 40. So Black and muted. That's right. Good emphasis, though. This is what I wanted elimination mode to always be. This is the dream. I feel like we've been playing it way too safe, and this is the first year where teams are actually going to be sweating. And I can't wait. Oh God. Oh, Forty it's, heroes. It's like almost random draft, except it's like you took all the best heroes already. It's like a <laughs> shitty version. Of oh, random it's gonna draft, be basically. so good. It should I'm be excited. good. Excited. Yep. So um, I, j- I just talked to Buka. My math was right. So the polls are going to open like basically an hour or so after the show is done, one to two hours. So they open tonight. They'll be open for 36 hours for day one. It'll be posted on Reddit. Um, it's the easiest place to find it. I hope you guys uh, get some community action going. Like the It really got good when we had those full days of like all offlaners. Hell yeah. That was, that I'd was like really to do – <laughs> I'd like more uh, generic bands like Blue Heroes only. Stuff well, like Suns fan, you well, have the ability to influence that, do you know? Yes, yes. you can ban one blue hero. <laughs> <laughs> I am starting a trend. I hate this fucking hero because he's blue. You ban him too. That's, a, that's pretty good slogan. I like that. <laughs> Great idea. Great <laughs> idea. Just make like one video. We're not, we're not kidding, by the way. Suns fan actually gets one ban every day. <laughs> yeah, Suns fan. The Suns fan called it. Band band. I made sure that was in it. You know, that was a requirement for me to be on the show. Yep. To be in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> what if your team? What if your team was in the tournament? Would that be too much bias? Uh, oh, I just ban a hero they're really bad with, or something. <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> we keep My losing team keeps to losing to Connell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god! The same hero, the Suns fan. That's why DC is not in the tournament, tournament, guys. Too could, much conflict of interest with that yeah. one ban I get. For could, could you imagine that DC OG finals? It's like, all right, boys. Who is OG's secret weapon against us? It ends up being a key hero, and they win in the decider. Yeah, I ban Earth Spirit. Oh, yeah. The, the, reasons, you know? <laughs> the next big controversy. Wow, we really dodged a bullet, guys. Whew. Well done. Oh, Buka's leaking sneak peeks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Buka sneak peeks. Oh, that is nice. Wow, Buka. Nice. Look at that. So, uh, oh, sneak. Oh, yeah. Oh. So keep your eyes oh. peeled for the poll. It'll be on the social medias and uh, the website and all that stuff. Um, wow. Anything else about EM? I, we have a couple other fun surprises. We'll have uh, different guests every day. You'll see a lot of uh, non Moon Duck faces on the panel, which should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to all that. Not going to. Are we just going to announce that day by day, Shannon? Are we going to post a list? How are we going to? I think. Yeah, just we should let it figure roll? out. We'll have a meeting after this and discuss. Oh, but, good. Uh, okay. I'm not going to. I'm not going to leak what we're. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to say anything, actually. Okay. Surprise is a Do I want to? No. no. You don't we, want to say anything. Really we don't. have cool people. <laughs> there it is. There it Great! Is. Oh, it's Sun He's talking about himself. <laughs> Guys, I made a body double. Day one special guest. I'm going to sit next to a blow-up doll named Sun's fan number two. It's Sun's fan with the wig. Yeah, we yes, just got all of our friends. Where the, wig went. The, the day one guest is, <laughs> guest is Spawn. Uh, day two, it's Lieutenant yes. Burnside. Yep. Day three, yeah. it's yeah. Wolfman. <laughs> Day four is Trent's wife. <laughs> yeah. oh, Just go down the list. I want Purge's dog as a guest, please. She recently she's learned she's buybacks. Trainer. She's. I guess I've been yelling about buybacks lately, so oh, I had to explain good. what a buyback was, and now she keeps dropping in con- like casual conversation. Just be like, what? oh, that guy should buy back now, or so. I don't know. It's bad. <laughs> She all she hears is me yelling about Dota. She's nothing about Dota, so she yeah. she knows Chronosphere, Earthshaker, and she still calls her Wind Ranger or Wind Runner rather, which I don't remember how because it's so great. long ago since that was changed. There so you'd go. appreciate that, Suns fan. But <laughs> yeah. my girlfriend said something about Slark the other day. She's like, "This is as bad as Slark," and I'm like, "You don't even know who Slark is." And she's like, <laughs> "She's the lizard everyone hates," and I'm like, mm. 
close enough. <laughs> Smart. You're right. <laughs> yeah. God. That was. <laughs> you guys remember Joy from like the BTS summit? I remember one time she argued with me whether or not Clinks was a melee hero, and I said he's an archer. He has a bow and arrow. She's like, No, I have played him. He runs up and stabs people. I'm like, <laughs> You've played him, and you think he's melee? How is that? <laughs> How is that possible? She's been thinking Skeleton King or something. Maybe, yeah. yeah. But it was just, I always like thought it was funny. They're actually, they look kind of similar in Dota 1. They're actually very similar. Just actually, size difference. Actually, you're right. I never thought about how That cool must have been it. Like, the skeleton. Purge, we cracked the story. Damn it. Skeleton now with I... the sword and the skeleton with the bow. Now my funny story has a very reasonable and logical explanation. Thank you for that. That was it a great... fucking destroyed Dota. So, <laughs> speaking of that, anyone have a, a story? Was Purge's story our satisfactory story time? Shannon, I heard you had a zinger this week that you might want to share with them. Uh, uh, <laughs> Slack Slacks has vetoed this story. So... No, no, it's fine. It, it, no, it's up to I'm going to trust Slacks. It's not, it's not interesting. It's just disgusting. So it, we're is, just gonna... it is interesting. <laughs> we're just going to continue. Every, every it's disgustingly story. interesting. No, my, my shitting myself story was disgustingly interesting. This one's just no, disgusting. No, that's the opposite. That was just disgusting. <laughs> you actually, the entire story was 30 minutes of I was in bed and too lazy to get out and I pooped myself. That's not <laughs> It's all about how you tell the Story. Thanks for the smart notes. That's but great. this one is disgustingly interesting. I would uh, you let it go. Let it go, Sunzi. Let Should the world know. All right. So, unfortunately, there's no cool way to say this story. It's just I'm just gonna say what happened. So, as you guys know or may not know, I have become disgustingly fat in my old age. My metabolism has not. I see your smile on your face, Trent. You can what? Just, I was okay. Reading chat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I've been trying to lose weight, which has been pretty difficult. It used to be very easy. I just go on like a Pepsi One diet. I have one meal a day and a Pepsi One, and I'm good after two weeks. I'm Did like you trade my pounds down. Write a book, maybe? <laughs> uh, I actually talked about that a lot back in the day. This was like <laughs> ten years ago, though. So now that I'm an old man, it doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. Okay. So I figured, like, I would try diets and then go back and forth, and it's just I can't stick to anything. So what I decided to do is a calorie, just count calories literally super simple the first one you should have done no no no, <laughs> no there's a difference though because I, I did trendy. i did count calories before but i would also try to balance things right to get enough nutrition and all that crap now i don't give a fucking i don't give a shit i have two cokes a day it doesn't matter i eat or drink whatever i want i just stay under my calorie limit right super unhealthy in a lot of a lot of days but the important thing is you're losing weight right so things were going just fine for like three weeks, I lost like my goal is two pounds per week, so I lost like six pounds in three weeks. It was going fine, and then the next two and a half to three weeks, which is somewhat recently, I kept going on the scale. I'm like, what the fuck? I haven't lost any weight in like three weeks, and I'm literally keeping track of the calories on there. Like, it's a scientific fact. If you eat this many calories and you're this, you weigh this much, you should be losing weight. So what the fuck is happening, right? So I go to my parents' house and I. I I didn't realize until then, but I was feeling kind of bloated, you know, just like I was kind of pregnant or something like that. And I was like, wait a second. I actually have not taken a shit in like three days. I think I might be constipated. And this is not a normal thing for me, by the way. I don't get constipated, as you guys know. I have very many bathroom breaks. Yes. So, and I hear all about them. Like, in fact, the opposite, I, in fact. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have Pepto-Bismol at the house. I have nothing to speed up the process that doesn't exist. I need to stop it. I need to put, you know... Need to stop yeah, the no, process to relax. Save so luckily, I was at times. my parents' house and they're old, so my dad had you know plenty of stuff. He gave me milk of magnesia, so I, I took a little swig of that, and within an hour and a half, I was just stuck in the bathroom for like an hour and a half, right? Just shitting, it just endless, fucking endless. <laughs> Long story short, I literally lost five pounds. For shitting. <laughs> so it turns out my diet's going great. I've lost the weight that I wanted. It was just. Stuck inside it me was in a different form. Compacted you know? inside because you've been eating sugar <laughs> wow. and not enough uh, yes, that is lubrication correct. to get it all out there. Well, that's great. Yeah. It, Congratulations. It might have been water too. <laughs> no, the way those diuretics no, there's, work. No, you're right. You're right. Take water from your bloodstream and put it into your colon. All right. There's, there was definitely some water, let me tell you. I wish I could have taken a picture. Unfortunately, nobody really oh, is God, likes stop. this kind of relationship. Stop. I want this to send pictures of people, but whatever. We shouldn't talk. So, regardless, some of it about. was water, yes, but no, no. <laughs> at least four pounds was just shit. Just poop. Wow. That's I mean, a shitload of like, shit. A minute into the story, I was like, is this about poop? <laughs> yes, for sure. I literally shit out a baby, though. That's, like, how much do babies weigh? 
Uh, that <laughs> less than <laughs> four pounds. pounds. Like yeah, that's a small a, animal. You could have right? a baby at five. Yeah. Okay. Have, <laughs> have small you ever dogs, small cats? A different career of smuggling cocaine in your colon. Because if nah. you can fit five pounds of El Blanco Diablo, I yeah, can make you a lot of money. Have you ever Anus. considered vegetables, right. maybe? Fiber? <laughs> I eat vegetables sometimes. Yeah. Those ones are covered in delicious sauce. Shannon, I hate better than not eating. I've been eating so. breakfast. It's a salad. It's a pre made salad. It's not the well, healthiest salad, but there's lettuce in it. Well, oh, okay. Well, in that case, very... <laughs> I, I hate to burst your bubble, Shannon, but you know, not all calories are created equal. It's not just a simple, you know, f mathematical formula. It has to uh, do it with is pretty simple, how you actually. <laughs> no, it has to do with spiking blood sugar. Like if you eat two thousand calories of all sugar versus two thousand calories of meats in a more balanced well, diet, okay, it I'm has a different taking... a different effect on fat storage. I'm not taking it to right? like an extreme. I'm not eating literally all I'm, sugar. I'm just day, saying, right? not not all calories are created equal. So like like insulin is the driver of fat. The worst thing you can do is start your day and have a donut and nothing else and spike your blood sugar. Then you, you store fat way more than if you have like a, a protein for breakfast, like a nice hard boiled egg, for example. But that, I digress. I don't I don't want to. I've recently got so life. good at hard boiling eggs. Oh, they come wow. out and I got that nice little bit of the gooey yellow in the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm pretty proud of myself. This is the perfect conversation after my story. God, I yeah. love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang. Well, that was right. great. I vote on that note. We wrap this bitch up and <laughs> okay. uh, get get tuckered in here. So um, I think that's it. Elimination mode starts bright and early Saturday morning. Mr. Cat will be the lead in. We've got uh, seven days of Moon Duck Madness and then more Mr. Cat after that. So lots to look forward to. Per usual, this bad daddy will have uh, the audio only file on moonduck.tv slash podcast where you can find all the stuff for What the Duck. Uh, I don't think it's on iTunes anymore, but uh, it'll be up on YouTube if you joined us late. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll see you next time for another episode of What the Duck. Woo! Bye!